Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and we're back on 245. We're using Matt's influence with some fire and we're just gonna tackle a few jobs. I don't know how this video is gonna turn out, but I've got some newfound free time. So uh, it'd be silly to waste it, wouldn't it? So as you can tell, the fire is out, so we'll just get straight into it. Water pump bolts, every single one, bar one, I think, snapped. So been playing with some fire. We managed to get the one out that's down there try and get you in a bit further so we've got the one out that was there the one right under the head here i've just heated up and it's turning now and that leaves us another three another three down there to try and get out yeah basically i'm going to take off little jobs like this i've just attempted to try and push the car into the workshop where there's loads of lovely space now because we kicked one car out of the way the car is 16 foot with the tow bar and i've got about 17 foot to play with <laughs> it's going to be tight but I, I have no choice I can't weld outside I can't take the windscreen out I won't get it done in a day so I need it in there for a, a week at least just to get through all the jobs that I need to do on it inside so uh, I found the move the car now I can't get it in because it's too heavy and um, yeah I said about having back problems I went to hospital and I've got a nerve damage in my back which explains a lot of things in my life right now so uh we're just going to do some light jobs and get it cracking. But I can't, I've just tried pushing this, I definitely can't push it. Um, right, I don't know how this video is going to turn out, so just stay tuned while you're there. Give this video a thumbs up. If you can subscribe, that'd be great. We're heading towards 13k. Um, like I said, I've got a fair amount of free time right now, so... Basically, you're going to do YouTube full-time. Why, why not? You with me? You with me? Right, let's get on with it. mentioned this top one that was right under the head is actually turning but it's very very out hot out hot um very little space to turn the grips so we're going about a quarter a turn <laughs> at a time but it's coming out got it look at that little bugger so the other one was about that size as well. And it's not even in that far. Look how, how in it is. Because that's not snapped. That's perfect. So, right, that's another one off. Let's get the next one out. Uh, let's go for that one, shall we? That's sitting there going, yeah, boy. If these can come out, this would be a really a job I've put off for a while. It's also melting all the rubbish off the engine, which is quite good. Are we multitasking? We're multitasking. That on there. Oh, I love the smell of Bulldog BDX in the morning. Grips. Come on, please turn. No, he's not turning. All right, we're gonna try again with these. Can we get some grip on them? Come on, come on. Grip him. No. The two shortest ones have come straight out. <laughs> the one I've got the most purchase on is being stubborn. Back and forth. Oh no. Right. Bulldog BDX, a bit more heat, and we'll go from there. Well, that 
fun was short lived, it is absolutely belting it down again. So we're gonna have a bit of lunch and wait. But we've got all but one sud out. So yeah, we'll set kettle on. Hopefully this weather goes over and try and get everyone off. And then I wanna try and put the master cylinder on for the brakes. And then all we gotta do is run the flexies, put a set of calipers on the rear, and we can bleed brakes. Sounds really easy, but it's not because nothing comes off easy. But yeah, we need it in here. We need it in here. Stop raining. All right, back in a bit. Make sure you, you have subscribed, don't you? Yeah, make sure you have. Well, I've got you on camera. It's temporarily a little tight in here again, but yeah. Oh well. A bigger unit would be nice, but yeah, you know, it's one of them, isn't it? Hey! Oh. Well, I've got you as well. We're a little while after Rostival. And um, yeah, thank you for everyone that came up and found the car. Uh, it was nice to chat to you and I'm really sorry some of the people messaged me, um, uh, a gent, I won't name his name because obviously there's no point, but he, he messaged me saying, I can't, I can't get up the top of the hill. I can't come see your car. I've come to the event, obviously see the other cars and other creators, but he couldn't get up the hill because of the, the parking issues that there was. So I, I can only apologize to, to my personal subscribers that didn't get to see the car or, or meet me. Um, I'm sure there'll be another event and I'd love to see you then. Um, but yeah, I am sorry. The car did make it there and back. I'll say with no faults, uh, there was a little fault with an oil leak. I mean, they all would leak, but it was leaking a lot. Uh, that, that's, that's been fixed, but there is another list of stuff. I want to go over the brakes. I want to go over the suspension over the winter. And then while I've kind of got the car safe and driving right, then we can go, right, what are we doing with this engine? Are we having it out for a rebuild? Are we going to change it for another? There's options, but right now it's weather like this and it lives outside, doesn't it? So it's one of them. Right, I'm going to go have some lunch. Catch you a bit, guys. Be back on the vlog in a bit. It's still chucking it down, but I've got them all out. God, will this weather just go away? Yeah, so we've got them all out of there now. So all around there, we're ready for the new, well, obviously clean up. The new pump can go on then. So I might just keep my coat on and carry on going. It's never going to happen otherwise, is it? So um, I've got, I've asked a few mates to give us a lift to get it in here because it's never going in on my own. I don't know who I was kidding. So I'm just going to think right a few bits. Worst case, I might repair the battery tray, get that ready to go back in. That'll be quite good. So yeah, see what happens next. I'll bring you back anyway. Oh, this weather's horrible. But look, it's still quite shiny. People have commented as well what I'm doing with this. So he has actually obviously started to flash rust. I knew that would happen. I wanted it to happen. I just didn't want the crispy stuff. So the idea is to let that do that. And then I'm going to put some lacquer. I'm just going to brush some lacquer in so it can't get any worse, basically. I will hate it. That's what I'm doing. All right. I hate living in England. We haven't even had, a, I wouldn't mind if we had had a beautiful summer. We've had like 10 days of warm. Bloody annoying. Right. Oh. Right, so I've made the executive decision in a, cleared some space in the mess. This is the battery tray out of the Volvo. Underneath, it's, you can, there's like a, a wax under it, which is pretty good, but in just in each corner, very common for Volvos, seems to be the 940 battery tray rotted out. And considering this is, as old as it is, you expect it to be worse. But it does need a few little repairs. Uh, I've had the comment of just fiberglass it or just leave it because the battery sits on it, but I can't put the battery on it knowing there's a big hole in the bottom of it. I hold it, it's held in with these four bolts here, but yeah, might as well try and repair it, haven't we? Got plenty of scrap steel kicking about. I can try out my new tools. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean up these areas, make some little bits up, and then hopefully try and weld it together. The workshop is a little bit jerry-rigged up at the moment because you can just see how tight everything is. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do the making of the things and cleaning here, and I'll go to that bench where the welder is, <laughs> and I'll weld it up, and obviously the car is gonna be in that gap behind them screens in a bit, hopefully. We'll see. But yeah, so I can get to cleaning this, and then we'll go over to the other bit. I mean, there's worse issues to have. I've got multiple workbenches now. Even in the big unit, I didn't have that. So, uh, yeah, I can't knock it. I could just do another unit to put some cars in so it can actually work <laughs> or sell some. But that wouldn't be content, would it, if I sold them all? So, uh, yeah, right, I'm gonna get to doing this.
I've definitely found my new favorite tool. So good. Yeah. All right, so we're all cleaned up. Look how good that is. Look at that, fresh -y. So we just, I mean, it's not gonna be the easiest thing to make and it probably won't look very perfect, but it's better than a hole, isn't it? But yeah, just try cleaning back some of the surface rust off and look at it, it's mint. So I'll probably buzz over it with that little flat disc on that. Get it all nice. But yeah, I invested in these extra few tools. So I got that one. I already had that one and a little cutter because when the 240 comes in and things like the Amazon, you can't get everywhere with a grinder. And I've wanted some little tools. This was like literally 13 quid on eBay or something. Something like something ridiculous like that. It's so good. This is a Draper one. It's quite good, quite heavy, nice tool. I think that was like 30 quid. I think this was like 15 quid. It's only like US Pro, but... I'm not a millionaire. So, let's go over to the welding area and see if we can make some bits up. The cavalry's arrived. Hey! <laughs> Matt's back. Um, we're gonna try and get it in the unit now. So, uh, I'll get back to fixing the battery tray in a second, but... It's not raining for 10 minutes. For, for your next 10 minutes, <laughs> we should try and we as we can. We've got the V70 to pull if we need to, and we've got a, a car. Another shitbox. <laughs> to shove if we need to. So uh, we're going to see how we get on. It does roll this, it's just bloody heavy and there's rocks in the ground. So let's crack on. Right, put the camera in there and we'll see how we get on. We need a brew now. We need a, I need a brew. <laughs> right, um, it's in. Uh, in. <laughs> Fuck it, there's, uh, I don't know what his name is, but thank you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Just, he saw us get stuck in the rut and he's like, yeah, I'm gonna come help you. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. We're good, we're in. Right, we can start some work now. <laughs> <laughs> She's in, it's lovely. Always nice having a dry one. Right, so we've made a bit of a decision. Going to start cracking on with the screen eventually. Um, but we've while well, we've got some dry, we can get the back end done and all the bits are here. We're going to finish the rear off, put the suspension uh, stoppers basically, sort of springs coming out. Um, it's all okay cable tied in right now. And some bits and bobs like that, really. We just want to get all these parts that are for the rear of the car on. So, like I previously mentioned, I don't know what this episode is going to be about, but it's going to be bits. So, and then we're gonna try and get a screen out and then I know what I'm working with. Oh, there's a fruity car turning up. Okay. Right. And we've got the um, bump stop to go on the other side and the sort of bottom. Yes, yeah. Things to go back Yeah. On. So, like Matt just said then, we've got a bump stop to do on the other side because the mount was damaged. The springs obviously in, and we just wanna make sure these calipers work, but if not, we've got a second hand set. They can go on, check all the, um, look at the light, look at all this lightness. Okay. There we go. Look at that. Um, yeah, and just make sure they're not seized or put the other ones on, put new flexies on. Obviously all the shock's already done, all that's already done, and go from there. So, yeah, film as much as we can, but we're just going to crack on. Mainly it's to get the flexies done, because that, after the Volkswagen. Yeah, that, <laughs> you got like a lightsaber. <laughs> 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 right, let's crack on. Discs off now, and you can tell just 
there is a receipt in a door pocket for rear discs before it came off the road and they're, they're fine them. So they're getting reused, we're not wasting money there. These shoes are actually really good as well and they're not peeling away or anything like that. So we're gonna scotch and clean them up. We're gonna mental, everything's moving, the handbrake actuates and does it's what it should do. So same with uh, Jackman's 244 this, these seem to be really good. So we're gonna give them just a bit of a clean up um, and save my spare ones, no point getting involved with that. So yeah, clean them up, clean them up. And then we're gonna stick another caliper on there because that is definitely solid. <laughs> so, all right. But yeah, while I'm in here, you can just see, sorry about the dirt on damage to the camera lens there. Uh, it's quite clean in here, it's nice. You can see all the new bits and Matt's down there swearing. Hello. 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 Uh, he's doing the flexi lines because they're on that side. So, but yeah, we're cracking on, it's all good progress and it's so nice being inside it's so good right so one side at the back is kind of buttoned up so we've actually got the bump stop back on there we're to repair this mount so that's back on obviously we did all the shock and springs in the previous episode disc albeit looks a bit surface rusty there's absolutely no lip you can tell these are literally new um, it's just stood for so many time for so many years uh, we've had this off sorted the, the shoes out behind just dusted them up a little bit made them a bit better they work the handbrake like locks on lovely uh, everything's working this side and this is a caliper off Jackman's 244 which actually moves and works um, yes it could do a back plate because there's a little hole there but I'm not too bored let's just try and get it moving so this side's actually bottomed up um, the shock mount base plates back uh, the spring mount plates back on this side as well we had to get some second hand good ones of them and then they found out you can buy them new but oh well we've got them um, so yeah this side's kind of all buttoned up doesn't need to look pretty just needs to work Jackman's calipers obviously saved the day this side and uh, Matt's on the other side, but the handbrake for some reason that side's causing a bit of an issue. So it's the working, the cable's working, but the actual actuator bit that grips it, it's just seized. So we're trying to get that to move and then we can button up that side. But we're getting there. Look at it inside, it's loving life. So you might be able to tell it's the next day. <laughs> and we got as far we could with that, the back brake on that side. I've just kept moving and moving the quadrant, hopefully. We can free it up, if not a bit more heat on it should free it up. I'm gonna keep going back to it as I go around doing everything else. But there's no point standing around doing nothing. I wanna get this master cylinder off. In the box right there, got a brand new one to go on with a new reservoir, so we can get that done. But what I wanna do is pull the master cylinder out of the way and clean up the servo a little bit, make sure the servo is actually okay. Maybe even give it a lick of paint, you never know. And um, then put the new one back in. And then all I've got to do really is connect up all the hoses and pipes at the front, put the pads in and the front's all done then. So we really are getting there. So if this video is very bitty, but just stay with me. Progress is progress. So let's get on. This bugger is putting up a fight. That one's off, and the both the bolts holding it to the uh, servo are off. But this one's fighting, so I'm going to lubricate it. We don't want to snap them. Look how clean they are, like the perfect copper. So try and save them. Bring you back in a sec. Hmm. So I went full mat attack at it. You can see the steam coming off it there. So yeah, mat attack works. And by that, I mean fire. So that's absolutely perfect. Like I say, the copper is perfect on it. So that's good. We can get this out of the way now. Through YouTube magic, it's black. I wouldn't say it's perfect. I've rust treated it and painted it black. Uh, I've got some like Genolite direct to rust treatment paint, basically Hammerite, um, their version of that. So yeah, that'll do. Put the mask cylinder on. There's no holes in it and stuff like that. So it should be okay. I might change this line. Um, it's a bit brittle, but it's not actually split. So, um, well, I say brittle, I mean, it's hard, but it's not actually split. But obviously we're gonna go through all that sort of stuff when we get into the engine. One thing to note, look how much space. That's like over a foot of space between where the front of the engine is and where the front panel is. Mad. Right, let's get this new master cylinder on. Right, so there we have the new part. So we've got new seals for the reservoir to sit on. So that'll look all lovely on there. Obviously we've got to pull these plastic bungs out like that. And we can get fit in. So let's get this bolted in and then we can just call the top of the engine done. Hope feel the brake lines go back together and then we can get onto the calipers. Winner.
and there we have it. And here we have one complete side, suspension done, brake lines done, as per photographs of how it all came apart. Got the new pads in now, all secured up, they're fun. Them clips, they go flying everywhere. But yeah, one side, bottomed up. So there is a bleeding procedure with these, as we learned on the 244. So for now, I'm gonna put the wheel back on just because I've got the rear completely on axle stand. So we'll get the wheel back on this side and then we can flip over to the other side. I'll try and show you a bit more. I want to get my head around it. But yeah, quite happy with that. Looks good. Look at all the newness. So we pause work for a little bit, just to say a big thank you for a subscriber called Ash. So he had this in his collection and it's obviously the right year to this. Well, look. So that's Ace. And then he said, he got the good work and we got some sweets to go with the car. So it's like, you know, they are the perfect Volvo, Volvo sweets. Can't wait, they're gonna live in the glove box. Thank you very much, buddy. Really, really appreciate that. Should we get the car built now? Right, time for another update. Uh, we've got the brake lines all bent round on this side as well, and all connected up. Uh, I've actually had to do a wheel bearing on this side, because if you remember, we got hold of a strut, which needed repairing, but the wheel bearing was gone. It's a late 80s hub, apparently, so we've had to put a different wheel bearing in it. Um, so yeah, it's all back together, and it, it moves lovely. Um, and it, Oh, obviously, that's your disc, that's your disc moving around. Um, people are going to say there's no nut in my disc. Obviously, the wheel holds the thing in, but I can't actually put a nut in my disc because my aftermarket wheels foul on it. So not one of them. Actually, when we got the car, only one disc had one on it with the original wheel. So it's obviously not a problem. It's done many, many miles like that. So jump in the comments, do what you want. I'm the one driving it, not you. So the last point of call is pads and these funky little clips. So I'll try and show you guys how to do them. Um, yeah, we'll go from there. Um, I think we're gonna run out of time today, which is really annoying. And I really wanna get this video out to you guys. I'm quite conscious it's, uh, it's gone on a bit, but I really wanted to bleed the brakes, uh, but we're just not gonna get a chance. So that side and that back rear corners just can't get the handbrake moving. So that might be a further issue. So, but what we do is we'll maybe start the next episode fixing that, bleeding the brakes and then cracking on with everything else. Um, but there'll be a separate video doing the body work because I want to get on with that. So we're getting there. We are getting there. It is good. So I'll show you how to do these disc uh, pads and uh, yeah, a bit fiddly, but they're not too bad. I've done worse with modern cars and this is, this is modern, 79. It's quite new for me. So uh, yeah, let's crack on. All right, so you are balancing on a pot of grease. So basically you've got these little retainers and then a split pin, uh, sorry, an R clip, which just holds the slider in. So it's quite simple, and I'll just kind of show you best I can how to do it. This isn't how to, we don't do them on Simpsons Classics. We just get, try and get stuff done. So a little bit of copper slip on the back of the pad. And slide it in. Same again on the other one. Only loads, just helps with a bit of brake noise. So slide them both in, two freshies. Looks nice, bit of copper slip there, get rid of that, clean that. And then these sliders, or pin retainers, or whatever you want to call them, I do try and put a bit of copper slip on them, just because if you ever want to take these out, normally the bit that's getting stuck will be this. So, okay, so just lining if you're not. So you want the hole on your pin there, you want that to be kind of facing out because you need to be able to get your R clip in it. So you'll see it just between, between the pad and the caliper. So, and then these funky little things are the most amount of fun I think I've ever had. And they basically slot in there, hold, the, hold it down, basically, so. And all you do is you push it down. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it, so I do apologize. Uh, what did I do last time? I think I got a screwdriver. So yeah, just using a screwdriver. There you go. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Fiddly things. So yeah, that goes in there. 
get that lined up. That comes through there, but basically you want that underneath that, there you go, like that. So that wasn't too bad, was it? So that goes under there. And then I found priming this one and getting this one ready was the best practice. Because you can slot it under your bottom one, which is already in place, hook it over your pad, slide that through, push that through, and then it's a case of just lining that, that hole up to go in there. So it's all just a bit of jiggery pokery. And obviously this is your last bit, so you expect this bit to be tight. So it will go in. There you go, like that. So on that whole line up on there like that. So that's your pads completely retained. And then you just get your R clips. Not drop them in your caliper. Just get your R clips, put that one in that bottom one. It's wanted to be on the bottom, so let's put it on the bottom. That goes through there. That's it, that's on that one. And then the other R clip. So you guessed it, exactly the same on the top. So there you go. That's how you uh, put pads in a 240 caliper. It's all good fun. So yeah, that's that, all retained and held in. I only knew that because I've got the old crappy calipers there. So, but yeah, that's all gone together. And we have just recently done this on Jackman's, which is uh, all good fun. So everything's brand new here now. That's all ready to go. Everything's in, everything's primed. All of that's in. So, we've literally just got to get the handbrake moving, get the disc back on the other side, and then we're golden. So ignore what I was just saying. Matt's turned up and saved the day. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're all back together now. The handbrake was, a, was it the quadrant, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's like, the reason why we stripped these down in the first place, because apart from it being stuck for so long, um, I thought that the rear calipers were seized, mm. and it's a good job we did, because they were slightly like, a bit of these weren't there. Yeah. And when we took this side off, because it's got a, so you've got your caliper. Yeah, it's got an inboard handbrake there, inboard isn't handbrake. it? Yeah. So you've got the shoes inside here. Yeah. There's a little lever when you pull the handbrake and it's supposed to move out, push the yeah. shoes out. And that's, the that side was moving, wasn't it? But this that's, side for some reason seized up. It seized up, probably just because it's the near side or what, we just don't yeah. know what I mean. Handbrake works now, you can pull it up, three, three, four clicks if you really pull it and they're both locking on, so that's what you want. That's it. And it's releasing back off, so. We're all good. Brakes are on, suspension's all on. I've been ticking stuff off being here all day, so I got rid of the suspension. Uh, what have we got here? Bleed, blade, there, we're there. <laughs> brake lines, we can get rid of that. Yep. Bleed brakes, we hope we get rid of that in a minute. Yep. Brakes, we can go thumbs up in a minute. Um, engine service and all that stuff, that's all that. But I, yeah, spring mounts. That can go. Lucky God. We we're can start putting some fluid in it and see where it all falls on the floor. <laughs> Um, while Matt was doing that, because obviously you can't get both of us down there, I've just been degreasing the engine bay a bit. I mean, we probably should have done it from day one, but before everything goes back in, um, there is some paint in there. It don't look too shabby now, but it was all black and horrible. So, yeah, that's all starting to go together now. But yeah, I still can't be much spaces in here. So, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but we're going to try and get a bleed and see how we go. Put some fluid in it first and see where it drips. Get some pressure. If we can get a pedal, excellent. Uh, I need to check with Jackman though, because he did send or download a bleed sequence because there's three bleed nipples on the front calipers and you do it in a sequence. You don't normally get it first time and obviously this is fresh, it's brand new. So we we'll see how we get on. Hopefully I think holds together. Wish us luck. So we're mid bleed, we've got fluid to all the front bleed nipples, there's three in each caliper. Uh, we've got the bleed sequence, which I'll try and include in the video, just in case anyone's interested. But we can't get any fluid to the back of this one again now, which is really annoying for Matt just bash his head again. Um, we can't seem to get any fluid to the back again. So when we pulled it off and quite tried to gravity bleed it, 
We've got some coming out, but it's leave, it might have a massive airlock. I think that's all it is. fluid to that side, but this is the furthest point now, so it's like, is it? I don't know. I'm so. going to start sucking it out. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I don't worry that much. <laughs> right, we'll bring you back when we actually have some success. But so far, all my brake lines are holding up at the front. Nothing's pissing out, so it's good. We now have success. A load of rubbish came out. Hey, Max go. got it in his pot there. Uh, and then we got fluid straight to that back caliper now. So the backs are bled. Well, the, they had the first bleed. They had the first bleed. Um, yeah. And now we're going to go turn our attention to the front. <sighs> we're getting there. We're getting there. She's got it. Got quite a nice pedal already, to be honest. Yeah. So I've just got to make it go now as well. Just got to make it go, yeah. That's the last thing to do. Do. Yeah. Because worst case, we just turbo it, don't we? So the engine's the last <laughs> thing. Surely. <laughs> right, be back in a bit. We have a success, Matt. We have brakes. <laughs> We've got brakes and no leaks. So that's two bleeds really, isn't it? Two times around the car. At least. And the amount of rubbish coming out, which should, I hope you caught on that little snippet then. Yeah, it's all clear now on all of the wheels. Everything's stopping, handbrake works lovely. Um, all the, obviously this is all together. It's now, let's tackle that next. Yeah. So we can, now we can stop. We need to be able to drive. So, uh, I'm really looking to see, looking forward to seeing it running now. I promised Matt and Jackman, once we get it running and driving, bang the number plates on it. Obviously, we'll make sure it's right, but the first drive has got to be to the pub. God. Definitely. Like, like proper old men in our Volvo, <laughs> we'll go to the pub and, and have a shandy. <laughs> I'm all for that. So, uh, yeah, I think that's... Call that episode done. I hope you uh, enjoyed it. It's quite long, I think, this video. Obviously, we'll know a bit more and edit it. But, um, make sure you subscribe to see it run and drive out of here now because yeah. it can stop, which is awesome. Man, that's a lot of work. It is. A lot of suspension work, a lot of... Oh, oh yeah. That old brake fluid. It that's looked, vile. Oh, it looked like tea. <laughs> it had like it bits horrible. of rubbish in it, just like whatever's left in the hard line. So obviously all the flexies are new. So um, yeah, next episode will either be me tapping this windscreen, hoping it's going to be a, a quick job. Um, and then it's getting the engine back together, really. But Matt's kind of suggested do the engine because you do the body work when you know it runs and drives and stops. So, yeah. Thank you much for watching. Remember to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and a uh, massive thank you to Matt. Massive thank you for Jackman in the background. And uh, yeah, I hope you found some of it useful, entertaining. Catch you soon. Bye bye.